What's up guys, my name is Jackson Pascal, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about uh, my reflection about being in CIS 111 this semester. So, sorry about that. Um, my favorite part of the course was definitely the popular culture chrism essay. I got to uh, write about uh, NFL commercial they aired during the Super Bowl. And obviously that was my favorite project because I got to do something I was interested in, in with that being in football. And I also got to learn the skills of writing and sources and overall it was just a good project. The biggest challenge for me was the LCP speech. Um, I'm not great at public speaking, but I'm not also terrible at it. But uh, I was able to, I think, give a really good speech, even though it wasn't in person. I just kind of gave it virtually because we had class virtually. But I think I was able to do a very good job. And I did that by just practicing a lot and making sure I knew my information and just kept going it, going over it and over it again until I finally got it. And I think it turned out really well. So two to three tips that a future CS student should do is obviously check Canvas because that's where everything is. Even if class is uh, back to in-person next semester, just check Canvas. That's where all your homework is. And another thing is obviously uh, start your speeches or essays or whatever homework it is. Don't wait until the last minute, especially for those big projects, because you won't be able to get it done. Because for the speeches, you need practice. And if you want to do a good essay, you, you can't be up the uh, the night before and expect to get a good grade, because that's just not how it works. And the big picture lessons I'll take from this class is definitely that you have to practice your speech. Public speaking will come up at some point in your life, whatever job you do, you'll have to do at some point. And I was able to practice that a lot with the, excuse me, LCP speech, and I think that was one of the biggest picture lessons that I took from it. And also that uh, you got to cite your sources, even if it's the smallest little thing, you need to give credit to where that author is due, even if it's just a one sentence word, it's not wasn't yours and you could get in uh, big trouble for that. And that's all. Miss Dyer was a great teacher. I, if you have the chance to take her, I recommend her. She was great with responding to emails and just answering any questions we had. And Overall, it was a good class and I enjoyed it a lot. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a good time in this class.